I got something special to show you. Stay tuned. Jeff Fears on the Hat Homestead. Today's video, pretty special. I'm going to do a little review on this. Now check this out, guys. So this company, Guy Weeks, sent me this multimeter. Now what they said was, they said, hey, Jeff, Arizona Hot Homestead, you're so awesome. Your viewers are awesome. And, hey, by the way, if you're not like a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. And we want to send you this. And please do a little review and give an honest opinion. So that's what I've done is I have uh, I'm making this video. So thank you, Kawits, for sending this. And uh, I like this, guys, by the way. I'll put a link down below. There'll be even a little discount code, but that's a limited time discount code. So act now. Woohoo! Let's take a look. By the way, this is kind of cool. Look at that size of my hand. So here it is. Kaiweed Smart Meter Multimeter KM201. Here's your bathroom literature. Good stuff in there. Comes with a couple batteries. Here's your device here. The leads are all, leads are hardwired in. So you don't have to plug them in. Now one thing when I first opened this, I said, man, it sure would be nice if there was like a case for it. You take this guy out, and there's your case. It's just a bag, but it's better than nothing. That'll keep it, that'll keep these wires from getting tangled up in your, uh, with other things, and keep this thing clean. So... Let's take a closer look. Let's put some batteries in and take a closer look at it. Alright, so I got my batteries in here. Pretty simple, simplistic. Press and hold. That's your on button there. You got a flashlight here, press and hold. Got a flashlight. Press and hold, turns it off. Press and hold is your backlight. This function, you'll see some information up there. NCV, non contact voltage, live, phase. I'm not going to get into phase. Some of you electricians, those of you who know something about electricity, will know what the heck this phase stuff is. It has something to do with a phase rotation, something or another. So, I don't know what it is. I'm not going to get into it. For the average homeowner, you don't care. And then back to auto. What's nice is it will determine the whole DC and AC currents. I like that it connects back here. So you just pull them off. These leads here have an extra coating. They still have the tip on, so you can use them just like this, or you can take this off and expose this more. I'm going to just take them off. We're still on auto. So we're going to first just check continuity. All continuity does is basically make sure that there is a, a beginning and an end. And all it does is make that sound and it turns it green, which is cool. Now I got a little battery here, so let's test this battery. Let me open these up a little bit more. This is about 27 inches or so. See, it's kind of nice and long. So I put one on one end. One on the other end, it's 1.685. I don't know how well you can see that. Now I want to check, change the polarity on it. Now, there is, I just pressed the H, which is hold, so you can hold it there for a period of time. Now, what I want to point out is over here, where it says DC, it's telling you it's DC. 
okay now watch this we're going to change this polarity now when you look at it there's a little minus sign below the DC that underscore basically it's a negative so that tells me I was opposite the polarity so I had put the this is positive and this one would be negative when you're dealing with DC so the first time I did it I did it correctly then I swapped it and it told me I did it backwards so that's kinda nice it tells you that it's incorrect I like this hold too now one also cool thing is that you can take these leads and let's say take the negative lead and you can just snap it on the back here and what's nice is now you don't, you don't need three hands so I could easy now take this well, this loose battery is going to be a little bit difficult but now I can just touch that and it gives me my voltage now let's go look at some AC stuff so here we go so I'm going to change this the function to NCV non-contact voltage well that's a hot wire <laughs> and I have it loose then I'm going to come over here to this plug and this plugs nothing nice I'll turn the plug on oh we got power this here is your sensor so that little knob there is your sensor so that's cool that I can tell that hey that's a live wire but one concern is is all three of them live I don't understand maybe I don't know maybe it's a DIY house and I'm doing some remodeling we'll change this now to live and then what we're going to do is I'm going to touch the white one first which is ground so there should not be a current in there and there's nothing there then we take the ground and there's nothing there then I'm going to touch the black one oh look at that so that's where my current is that's the live wire so these other two there's no power going through them so that's what's nice especially when you don't know if for any reason you got a DIY house or someone's got messed up wires this here will tell you which one is truly the live wire I like that a lot and then the phase I'm not gonna go through this phase because again I don't know what the heck phase is some of you guys will know I just checked continuity we checked DC so in a nutshell folks this thing is awesome thank you Kaiweeds for sending this there will be a link down below so you guys can pick one of these up I like how small it is look at this the size of your hand and I like that you can put these things in here you can set them like this you can there's a little groove in there that you can set them in there and the hand holds it a little bit better I'll put the caps back on I don't know if I like all this wire hanging but there is that bag so that's pretty nice at least there's a bag to uh, to pop it into get you one of these I am really glad I have this I'm going to use this one a lot thanks for tuning in Jeff Ferris on the Hot Homestead see you bye have fun